So, again, the mounting brackets here and here and there. Well, you probably can't see them. Anyway, they're on the side down there in those brackets. You gotta pop those bolts up off of here. That's a 17 on that side. Um, and I just use a crescent to hold the outside. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass because you have to have one hand on, your, on the 17, you know, holding the uh, end of it here and then loosen it up on the other end it down over here. And uh, Joseph would have probably been a little better at that than I would because I get these big fat ogre hands. But the point of the whole thing is now it's loosened up. So the next thing is just obviously uh, disconnecting the oil line, the oil lines here, draining it, and then it'll uh, come right out of there. I don't see any other obstructions. And then we'll be able to get at the uh, hose, the coolant hose down below. So, and it's going pretty good. I mean, yeah, you get dirty and everything, but well, welcome to tanks. Not a big deal. Just takes you a little while. All right, so we popped that off. There was no uh, drain plug under here that I could find, so that's where I drained it at. Just put a bin underneath it. And then we gotta take the uh, top one off and then the oil cooler will come out of there. And then we hopefully will be able to reach the main coolant line that uh, busted on us. All right, next let's try to lift the uh, oil cooler out. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to record this. Here, grab it. There we go. And now we have to get down underneath there. Set this off to the side. Where exactly down here are we looking? I'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to put this down on the ground. Yep. It's, uh, and there wasn't, there wasn't much in there. But just grab something like that. That'll work. Right, so right here, this is what failed. These, these clamps should not be that loose. This is. You know, I didn't touch them, but both of these, the whole thing popped off there. It wasn't going to fail on the uh, hose, but they just came loose. And then the, the pressure, of course, popped these. I'm not a fan of these at all, so whatever. That's fine. We're going to replace these. Anyway, so there we are. That's the fail point. That's why we uh, lost all our coolant. Okay. Okay, so here's our hose. I was just telling Joseph, thinking about this as an adapter, like USB to micro. So you have your source from the radiator to the main. Well, again, before that goes back in, we need to have the uh, some better clamps on there. And I need to, I'm just going to go ahead and find replacement hoses for that too. This larger size, that's. That might be a problem. This one I can get, no big deal, because I already replaced it on this side right here. That one, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. Right, on this uh, coolant hose project, the only issue there might be is finding that larger size uh, hose. Um, other than that, everything else is uh, coming apart. Pretty simple, not a big deal. So, I'm yeah, pretty happy with it. And we'll see them, I'll see you on Monday. There's a uh, hose shop in Chandler I'll go check out. I've gotten other hoses for the tank before too. So I'll see if I can find everything I need there. All right, guys, to be continued.